Hello everyone, it's blog time and today we're talking about tempo maps and why they might be useful for some of your recordings. Um, now this video is going to be focused on Harrison Mixbus 4. Um, but if you have another DAW or you use another DAW, then, you know, the principles can apply, um, although the shortcuts and controls will be slightly different. But it might be worth watching this video just to see why you might want to use tempo maps, because there's a few little cool tips in here. Um, in fact, if you are a user of another DAW, then you might not be aware that I have my own signature bundle from Harrison Consoles, the um, from Mixbus, I should say, the uh, Russell Cottier Mix Bundle. Um, and you can get that from harrisonconsoles.com. Uh, go to the um, online shop, online store. It's American. Go to the online store and uh, there's a drop down there and you click in specials and you'll see my ugly face. So click on that and you'll get some more info. Or you could go directly to mixbundles.com. Um, you get Mixbus 4. You get the character bundle, which um, has three really great plugins that I've chosen that to be part of my bundle because it's it's just so different and so useful you can deal with drums you can deal with bass and vocals and other things as well but that's what those plugins are designed for and they're just unreal so good um there's also a really great gate that comes with the bundle um so you know just the things that are, are difficult to get elsewhere uh, that are really good um and obviously you get the full digital audio workstation Mix plus four. So I, I digress anyway, I prattle on. Um, but yeah, it'd be great if you could go out and check that out. Um, there's 40% off recommended retail price when you get the bundle as opposed to the individual plugins and digital audio workstation. So let's talk about tempo maps. Well, if you've done a recording of a live band or a live unclicked recording in the studio, then you might want to create a tempo map. You might want to do this because it will make editing easier. You'll be able to lock to a grid and chop things up and about and you know, editing will be way easier. You might want to add MIDI that might be pre-programmed or you know you might have a string section programmed that you want to drop in but obviously because the band aren't playing to the tempo that it, that the original string MIDI section was was composed to then it's not going to line up so you want to make sure that your um, your MIDI is starting at the start of each bar and so on the notes are aligned with how the band are playing you might also want to use tempo synced delays and that's something I do an awful lot of when I mix. I also use tempo synced reverbs um, using the early reflect, uh, the pre-delay I should say, uh, off a tempo synced delay and that's something that I'm probably not going to talk about today um, but there will be more information in the free seminar uh, which is coming up next month um, from uh, recordingstudiomasterclass.co.uk so there's a free sign up there if you want to learn more about tempo synced reverbs um, and how that can make your mix feel free and open okay so um, we've we've got the you know we've outlined the context of why we might want to add a MIDI tempo map. We're also going to be talking about how uh, how to deal with retardandos and keep the you know keep your delays synced at the end of a track that may have been done to a click and then you know you've you've done a writ on it and you've dropped the click out so the musicians can sort of slow down and play together. That's another thing I do quite a lot of um, that comes up quite often. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Let's go and have a look at the computer. Hey, so we're in Mixbus and I've recorded some guitar to a 120 BPM click. Um, let's have a listen to it from around bar 13. Now, you musical theory types might have noticed there's a rallentando there, uh, which is basically a slowing, a gradual slowing down of tempo. Um, there's also something called a writ, which is a more immediate slowing down of tempo. Um, that's as far as my music theory knowledge um, tells me anyway. Uh, so um, how do we deal with this? How do we make our click slow down with the performance that's already been recorded. We're not trying to fix the performance, we're trying to uh, 
echo the performance and make our editing and our um, record mixing and um, and maybe MIDI recording and so on more intuitive. So, um, you might not be aware in Mix Plus 4 that you can grab and move um, meter markers. So we could start our our song at the start of the um, at the start of the drummer's count in, for instance, uh, just to let you know. Um, that's not the bounce period. That's just where the tempo map starts, bar one. So um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to zoom in. And I know that I play correctly up to around bar 15. Let's just have a listen. Yeah, so bar 16, bar 15, we start to slow down. And so I'm just going to add a new tempo by right clicking. And we can right click that tempo mark and we can lock it, we can edit it, we can do all sorts of different things. Um, within this little pop-up menu. Um, next, I want to count the amount of bars that remain in this, this remaining section. So I'm just going to count through audio, not the bars on the click, so I'll turn the click off. Okay, so I worked that out. Worked that out as four bars, two, three, four bars here, um, and I'm going to create a new tempo marker. Remember that's um, command click on the Mac, and to drag it, I'm just going to command click again, and I'm going to drag it out to the start of this beat here. Um, I think it's shift click on the PC. Okay, so we actually can see our markers are getting close to the positions we want them to be in. Um, so I'm just going to create more tempo markers here and drag them out to where we want them to be. There we go. And when I put the click back on, you should hear a smooth transition of the click from bar 13. Okay, so hope that was useful. So that's how you deal with a RAL in Mixbus coming off a clicked track.